Six begins with justice delayed for thousands of rape victims. Their cases sitting on a shelf because of untested rape kits. Good evening. I'm Ken Bassita. In for Allen. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. New at six tonight. It's evidence that could put rapists behind bars. But right now, there is no way to track the massive backlog of untested rape kits in California. KPX 5's Melissa Kane on the push to change that and the surprising opposition. Melissa? Yeah, Veronica, there are thousands of untested rape kits in California, but exactly how many and where and why, no one knows. But today, in a Senate Public Safety Committee hearing, a proposal to change all that got one step closer to becoming law. They were saying that it was consensual, but it was not. And um, they were kind of just laughing about it. In 2012, Maria was volunteering at a dance competition in Oakland. One minute she was with her friends, the next she woke up in a hotel room with strangers. Her rapists were already gone. One of the strangers helped Maria back to her friend who called 911. An ambulance took her to the hospital for a rape kit exam. I think I broke down there when that happened, when they started taking pictures. And um, that, was, that was when it hit me. A detective first told her it would take one year to test the kit, then two years, and then no one would return her calls. I don't. I don't know if it was ever tested. Maria is not alone. There are thousands of women who don't have answers on what happened to their rape kit, and this is unacceptable. This is absolutely unacceptable. We asked Assemblyman David Chu, how many untested rape kits do we have in California? The answer is we don't know, and that is the point of this bill. And with that, I respectfully ask for your support. Chu has introduced a bill, AB41, and it would help end the secrecy surrounding rape kits. It directs every law enforcement agency that would collect a rape kit to tell us how many kits have they collected and how many of those kits are untested. And for those kits that are untested, tell us a simple answer why. Under the law, victims would also get an ID number to track their own kits. And the bill has widespread support with both Republican and Democrat sponsors and only one single on-the-record opponent, the California Sheriff's Association. It's a fiscal concern, a uh, workload concern, and it's in the context of many other mandates that have been levied upon law enforcement in the past few years in terms of reporting data. And we caught up with Corey Salzillo, who represents the Sheriff's Association. You said in there it's a fiscal issue. How much mm -hmm. uh, will this cost? Uh, it's not a matter of that we've identified a particular cost to any particular county. It's a, it's an ongoing mandate um, that is in the, it, it grows on top of other mandates that the legislature has imposed on law enforcement. According to Sal Zillow, the Sheriff's Association has no idea how many rape kits are untested and no idea what AB 41 would actually cost. But whatever it is, they're sure it's too much. When you say that this is a fiscal issue and yet you don't know what the fiscal impact would be, do you understand that that's a less than compelling argument? I mean, that's, I guess, what the legislature decides if it's compelling or not. So far, lawmakers have decided it is not. After years of watching the sheriffs successfully oppose rape kit reform, Senator Hannabeth Jackson had had enough. I don't ever want to see law enforcement come in again and say that they don't have the resources to do this. Aye. The Senate Public Safety Committee voted unanimously to pass the bill. The victims out there are just like any other victims, um, just because... It's a process that happens after the fact, doesn't make it any less important. They need the same justice as anyone else gets. AB 41 is not the first time that lawmakers have attempted to require rape kit reporting. In 2015 and in 2016, similar bills got unanimous support and then died in the Senate Appropriations Committee. So, Melissa, where do Bay Area sheriffs stand on this? Right, so just because the Sheriff's Association opposes it doesn't mean every single sheriff actually opposes it. We know that San Francisco's Sheriff's Department is on record as being, uh, as being in favor of AB 41. As for other Bay Area sheriffs, that's a little more complicated, but we will be following up on that, and we'll be right here with additional information in the 6 o'clock shows. All right, we look Thank forward you. to that, Melissa. Thank you.